Today is the day that I pick up the brand new turtle bike trailer. So, so, so super duper excited about this. We came all the way out here and this is the reason we came out here. I don't know if I explained this yesterday, um, but the reason or the day before, whenever it was, the reason why we're coming over here and the reason why we're coming over here right now is because I have just this small window of opportunity. I've got several new people starting the week of the 11th. And so um, between hiring and starting, I had this, this basically this next week off. And so I wanted to take advantage of this opportunity to come out here and get this because after we start training and then we start rolling the season, our tourist season starts in March. Um, I'm not, it's gonna be, I'm not gonna have the, it's gonna be too busy. I won't be able to sneak away for a while. So I wanted to go ahead and come out here and get this done. We're gonna get a great overland trip in. I'm not exactly sure what we have planned. Kevin and I have been talking. We haven't really been able to firmly decide. One thing we were gonna do was gonna take us to like five degree weather. Uh, we may still do that, but I'm gonna see what he has planned. Right now I'm sitting in front of my brother's house and he's gonna be here in a second. And then we're gonna drive over to the Turtleback headquarters. We're gonna check out the new trailer. You, you don't even know all the bells and whistles that they've got. They even have this package that they called the vlogger package <laughs> made specially, especially for me. And it's, it's, it's power stuff. I mean, I can't, I can't even wait. I know you can't wait either. Do you remember Chris? He was in the Overland Expo once. Anyway, three, two, one. Hey. Hey. You ready? Let's go. All right. I don't actually know where we're going, but we can figure it out. Let's see here. Kevin said, no worries. We're running late. So the story was, is uh, they were running a little bit late. It's his fault. Yeah, so we went to the grocery store. Now we're late. He's Let's always late. I, I, it's always just kind of Jason's way. It's kind of my way. I don't know what the deal is. 32 years he's been like that. <sighs> oh, it's 30 minutes from here. Ooh. All right, here we go. We're here. We're at the expo out here. The expo, yep. Yep. Hey, guy. how you doing, How's buddy? How's it going? Good. Good to see you. Good seeing you. We haven't seen Dave since Expo West. Yep, it's been a while. Been a while since we camped together. How's it going? Going really good. Going really good. Hey, everybody. <laughs> Let's Come see what we got. Coming in hot. I'm gonna pull this down behind us. Wow. Is, where the, is that it? That's it. That's it. That's it. That's, that's it right there. The, the, my tent matches your trailer. Does your tent match my trailer? Not quite. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Holy moly. Wow. I love the little lights. These are so great. Yeah, big improvement. Look at these. Big improvement. Wow. Oh, it feels so silky. Wow. Look at all that power goodness. This is gonna be, this is gonna be like, like a dream, like a dream come true. Wow. And it's so shiny. Everything is like, like mine's been so dirty uh -huh. and beat up. This is gonna. This was gonna get pretty beat up pretty soon. Oh yeah, yeah. Gotta but it's so pretty right now. Mm -hmm. Look at these hinges. Holy moly! These things are beasts. Wow. Wow. This. This door feels thicker. It is. It's twice as thick as your last door. It's so bright in there too. The other, wow, that little light does all that? Yep. That's one light? That's one light. Wow. And this just pushes closed just like this. Okay. This is the 
Oh, wow. There's a shelf in there? I saw that in one of the pictures, but I was like, there's just, I didn't know there was going to be a shelf mm -hmm. in there. Wow. So you've got There's USB ports, right? Okay. And then we have the vlogger special. So back here behind the fire extinguisher, we have all your oh your power hub. We have more power. Four 12 volt sockets, two dual USB sockets. Oh, dude, there's so much power. And the shelf, this is the best right here because I can stick, uh -huh. I can stick my chargers right there. And you've got diamond plate up here. Uh -huh. Do you yeah. see that? No more, no more scratches on top of your boxes. You can set all your junk up there. I sit lots of junk up there. <laughs> Especially shoes. Like I love. Right. We right. put like a spare set of shoes up. <gasps> oh, there's dude. Your, there's your CVT plug. That's my CVT plug. Do you see these? Wow. Let's do that again. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm not excited even a little bit. Wow. Oh my goodness. I'm like, awesome. we haven't even seen the awesome yet. <laughs> so this trailer and the Lifestyle Overland trailer are the first two to have our brand new composite kitchen. Oh. Zero wood. Dude, <laughs> look at all that. Wow. That's the best way is to yeah, grab it just anywhere like that. Be, 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 feel free to jerk on it because it's a brand new slide. This turned out so good. It really did. I didn't know what to picture, mm -hmm. but the black and this looks so good. Wow. Oh, dude. The surprises just keep coming. There's so much. This is gonna be great because these guys are fast. Mm -hmm. Mine's a little slower. Yeah, the Outwoods, they, they put out 5,400 BTUs. These are 10,000 BTUs a piece. Wow. You, and you gotta keep on low. Once you get up to temperature, you're gonna wanna bring it down because it, it does put out a lot. So, okay, so one side's only yeah, got the lock, yeah. so both sides are the And what we found was... This is not gonna swell, so you're always gonna remove this. Oh yeah. The absolutely. wood swell, I can't remove mine anymore. Oh really? Yeah. Really? What? Humid Florida, I can see yeah, I didn't, yeah. I didn't, I wasn't surprised by that. It's yeah. not that big of a deal, but, but this is not gonna have that issue. Not at all, not at all. So much storage. This one doesn't lock. Do, do you know how to use this, Chase? No. I don't ever use bottle openers. But this will be there for you, Uncle Chris. <laughs> so we can still get to the top one with this open. Right, right, right. And we still have the safety circuit in place. So here's the new location for that switch right there. Okay. So if you pull this out, it kills the gas. If you okay. try and push this in, it kills the gas. Okay. This feels taller. Is this? Yeah, we did. That's right. Because we did, we did an inch or two taller, right? Could you walk under the tent? How was that? Yeah, I did. And it was like, it was, I can stand up now. Oh, yeah? All right, so what he was saying is that you can, so you can hook up at a, at a campsite and have it pressurized right. instead of, so then this is going to be where your water is going to go in your water fill, and then this is going to be the pressurized one. Exactly, yeah. I am so excited about this part right here, because this part right here, we are going to be able to put all of our charger stuff right here, and then there's, this is like, pretty much the same amount of storage that I had before. So we basically just doubled that. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is so cool. This is so, so cool. So this side, there's so much light. Yeah, we got it's so amazing. Lights above and below the shelves. Kind of went overboard on the lighting, but it's, it's awesome. That's so great. Okay, so you've got the water heater in the box Correct. there just to make it look consistent. Right, then we have the new deck plates, the five bar. So the whole decking system is an aluminum plate. This is so, it's so buttery and soft. <laughs> oh. Then we have the, the new modular fenders that are bolted on now, as opposed to welded on previously. Those okay. are aluminum as well. What's the benefit to them being bolted on versus? You trash them, you can undo them and replace them. It's not welded and you gotta cut them off. Yeah. Uh, does that happen not very often? 
Because I feel like I beat the heck out of mine, other ones, and I feel like they're fine. But. Well, it, there was a trade-off. So, so there's multiple reasons why we went to the modular system. Um, number one is the serviceability. Number two is it saves weight because these are aluminum as opposed to the steel. Okay. And number three is it makes us makes it easier on us for the production process because in the past we couldn't stack any chassis, otherwise we would cave the fenders out. Oh. And now we can stack up to ten chassis tall to take them to the hot dip galvanized processing plant. Right. Yeah. So it, it worked out for everyone. Got it. You see steel trailers occasionally where someone's cut a corner too quick. Yeah. And they clip a, a bollard or a fire hydrant or something and collapse their fender. Yeah. You have to cut it off. Or bolt on. You unbolt it by a new one, bolt it back on. Okay. Okay. Your trailer. <laughs> so soft. Do you see these graphics? How did you do these? Well, I'm actually, the. this is a matte black and it has a hard time adhering to the tack paper. And so we have spent way too many hours trying to hand put all of this uh, final graphics onto the, onto the setup. I so, know how that is. So we're researching some different tack paper for the future. It's all on your learning process. This is the first time we've done this, but the rewards have been awesome. It just- It, it just looks so fun. good. The orange on the black mm -hmm. with the wheels is so good. Oh, look at all this goodness. Look at the size of this inverter. So this is a 2000 watt pure sine wave inverter. And then we have the shore power charger by Pro Mariner. So this is a, I believe it's a five stage charger. So it's gonna maintain your batteries. It doesn't just throw amps at it. It actually uh, takes care of them as it brings them back up to charge. And then it also has a trickle charge function on it. So you can leave it plugged up to your house. It keeps everything ready to go. Everything is protected by circuit breakers. So we have blue sea circuit breakers down here. Um, so as soon as you come off the batteries, you're going to have your overcurrent protection all the way through the trailer right there. And then we have this, this is, this is the first and, and yours is the only trailer so far that has the Red Arc DC to DC charger. So this is going to be a, a fun experimentation for what you. What does that do? So this is going to take the input from your vehicle, which the Toyota 4Runners, the, right. the more modern versions are notorious for not having a very high output Enough. alternator. Right. right. So this takes that input and boosts it up so that it has the proper breakover voltage to help charge the batteries while you're driving. Okay. It also doubles as a solar controller as well. I'm overwhelmed. I, I'm, I'm like, I'm astonished. It looks so good. And like so, there's like so much goodness. Like, like, it's like I was trying to prepare myself for like what this was gonna be. Cause like I know everything it has, like there's not a whole lot of surprises. There's so, there's a few, but I'm just, I'm still like, like the whole package deal. I'm just blown away. Everything. It's amazing. I gotta give you a hug. <laughs> yeah. This is awesome. I'm glad you like it. I love it. I'm glad you like, like it. Like is an understatement. I love it. Good deal. Good oh deal. man. I can't wait to get them out on the trail. Me neither. Yeah. It's gonna be like amazing. Yeah. I love the orange tint. Really I didn't pops. know if I was going to like it. It really pops. It does really pop. And it looks great with the gray. Uh -huh. I, didn't, I didn't even think about that. I didn't even right. plan on it. I really want a gray tint now so we can be like, you know, kind of offset. Off I know. A Bobby's got me the one with windows and I've got the one with the light and since Kevin set up the power po uh, plug thing in the back we've got a cable ran right here and we have power in our tent the old one we didn't have power in our tent because I didn't have anywhere to plug it in and now we do it's I'm so excited I'm acting silly, I know, but I'm so super, super stoked. Are you excited? Absolutely. He's not really excited. The second time I've slept in a tent with a guy. <laughs> Are you coming with? You should come camping with us, Chris. You should talk to the wife about that. Uncle Chris should come camping. She should say yes. You're the one that. He says yes as long as you take the kids. Yeah. <laughs> we
Wow.